In the headlines, Nigeria seeks $10 billion package for energy transition plan. Shell orders to end billion dollar Nigerian lawsuits. NMPC to triple Nigeria's natural gas reserves. Kiari. Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, has declared that Nigeria is seeking $10 billion from international partners to fund the nation's new energy transition plan. This was just as the World Bank and the U.S. Exim Bank have pledged to assist Nigeria in its energy renewal efforts with $3 billion. Speaking yesterday in Abuja at the virtual launch of Nigeria's energy transition plan, a roadmap to tackle the dual crisis of energy poverty and climate change, Osibanjo stated that Nigeria is currently engaging with partners to secure an initial $10 billion support package ahead of COP27 along the lines of the South African Just Energy Transition Partnership, partnership announced at COP26 in Glasgow. According to him, Africa's increasing energy gaps require collaboration to take ownership of the continent's transition pathways and the action should be decisive and urgent. For Africa, the problem of energy poverty is as important as our climate ambition. Energy use is crucial for almost every conceivable aspect of development, wealth, health, nutrition, water infrastructure education and life expectancy are significantly related to the consumption of energy per capita he said shell exxon mobil chevron and equinor plan to withdraw multi billion dollar lawsuits against nigeria's state energy company after finalizing new terms for deep water oil production in africa's largest crude producer in letters to two New York federal judges on August 22, the oil majors said they had agreed to settle with the Nigeria National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, and will terminate ongoing litigation once the new arrangement take effect. The move came 10 days after the firm's renewed leases with the Nigerian government and production sharing contracts with the NNPC for the permits at the heart of long-running disputes over the allocation of crude. Equino and Chevron filed a suit in the U.S. four years ago, asking the court to enforce a $1.1 billion award issued by an arbitration tribunal against the NNPC in 2015. Shell and Exxon initiated similar proceedings in New York in 2014 with over $1.8 billion ar arbitration award. Both penalty followed both penalties followed allegations by the majors that the NNPC took crude beyond its entitlement under contracts signed in 1993 that were designed to incentivize the companies to develop deep offshore blocks. Mala Mele Kiari, the NNPC boss, has stated that the company plans to triple Nigeria's natural gas reserves from over 200 trillion cubic feet to 600 trillion cubic feet. Kiari stated this at the launch of Nigeria's energy transition plan on Wednesday in Abuja, where he said the plan aims to see Nigeria reach its net zero targets by 2060 by investing in low carbon emission opportunities, including natural gas, and also take 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in a decade. The company's optimism is as a result of more investments that are expected due to the recent signing of the production sharing contracts with partners and the empowerment of NNPC by the Petroleum Industry Act PIA to take full responsibility for commercial operations. Gary said the plan is coming a month after the unveiling of NNPC Limited with a clear vision and renewed commitment towards upscaling Nigeria's energy relevance in the global energy market while ensuring energy security for Nigeria. The federal government yesterday blamed those it described as economic saboteurs for the vandalization of food oil facilities in the Niger Delta region. Director General, National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency, Nostra, Mr. Idris Musa, who stated this in Abuja, accused unnamed businessmen of masterminding the attack on oil pipelines for personal gains. 
He said the government was looking into the issue with a view to fish out and sanction those who are sabotaging the economy, degrading the environment and unleashing untold hardship on the people of the Niger Delta. Musa, who spoke when two civil society groups paid him an advocacy visit, said an oil spill happened a few weeks back and we constituted a joint investigation visit to the place. The reports indicated that it was as a result of sabotage and that is something we have been advocating that we should put an end to as it's leading to destruction of oil facilities because because when these things happen as a nation we lose revenue people lose sources of livelihood because the oil will be packed on areas where they fish or farm from and when it will be a loss and then it will be a loss to the oil company that owns it and also a loss to the environment Heading to OPEC now, OPEC's united front on possible action grew stronger as more nations endorsed Saudi Arabia's view that supply curbs may be needed to stabilize world oil markets. Within 48 hours of comments from Saudi Arabian Energy Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman that OPEC might have to curtail production, fellow members Iraq, Algeria, Bahrain, Kuwait, Equatorial Guinea and Venezuela released statements expressing their support. Further endorsements came on Thursday, earlier today, from Congo, which holds OPEC's rotating presidency, as well as Libya. Oil markets are suffering a disconnect as international futures, as international futures contracts, which have tumbled in recent months, fail to accurately reflect the fundamentals of supply and demand, Prince Abdulaziz said in an interview on Monday. The result has been extreme volatility in prices, he added. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its partners are prepared to reduce output in order to bring the two sides of the market back to a balance. In business and economy now, the publisher of the value chain energy magazine, Musa Bashir Usman, was yesterday inducted as a fellow in the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, NIPR, the event which took place at the International Conference Center in Abuja during the annual general meeting of the NIPR brought together important dignitaries as well as members and intended members of the institute from the different chapters in the country to witness the induction. The reports. The publisher, while thanking the Institute for such recognition, highlighted that in as much as there is a lot to celebrate, there is also major responsibilities that comes with the position of a fellow as it is a major call to service. I feel so happy, elated and uh, um, I can't even describe you know, how I feel uh, because it's not really easy you know, to reach this stage you know, in your professional career. Um, like you know, Nigerian Institute of Public Relations is a professional body, meaning that uh, it's where you know you display your professionality, you know, in the course of what you choose to do. It is a call to service. Um, when you are recognized, you know, um, at this stage of fellowship of the institute, it means that uh, your services is needed. The publisher also emphasized that being a fellow is the highest cadre that one can attain in the professional body and it is expected that one should contribute to the upliftment of the professionality in the acts of public relations in Nigeria. Well, fellow is the highest uh, cadre that one will aspire to reach in the professional body. And your major responsibility now is um, to some extent now you are a consultant, per se, and um, your contributions now, it will come in twofold, to the external body, you understand, and to the professional body. For the external body to make sure that uh, you contribute to the upliftment of the professionality in the, you know, um, acts of public relation in Nigeria. Um, we have a lot of quackery in the country. People who are not members, people who are not trained, uh, into this you know profession so um, part of our responsibility now is to make sure that we extend you know the gospel to all the people who are uh, practicing this uh, profession to be able to register and acquire all you know the necessary training that they require so that they could be able to dispense you know this um, uh, um, you know career in a professional way 
The NIPR is a professional body that is committed towards rebuilding Nigeria and promoting peace and development. And now, let's take a quick look at oil prices and exchange rates today. As the oil prices and exchange rates today, don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms via Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. While you are at it, also don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube handle to gain first access to all our news and content. That's the news for today. I am Naomi Oleiribe. Good evening. <music>